Okay, Iran today, we're gonna to talk about some uh, nomads, particularly men, dudes, who have bought houses, and I don't think they're happy with their houses, okay? We have Dave 2D up there in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, who used to be pretty much a California dude who just drove around in his various vehicles, just kind of on the beautiful coast of California, doing some cool stuff, living in his vehicle. I think his mom lives somewhere in the San uh, San Francisco area. But you know, that's a, like, that's a lot of cool stuff there. The climate's good. Uh, that's what his life was. He was doing reviews of these uh, crazy uh, nomad channels. Uh, you know, the beautiful couple there with a million views and da 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 and his, what he called roast videos and he seemed to be okay then he decided for some reason that he needed to buy a house okay well he's obviously probably gonna be pretty expensive to buy some sort of a house in California these days uh, you know a little ranch house in San Jose is two million dollars so you know so what about northern Michigan what about the Upper Peninsula of Michigan so he goes out there as a guy who passed away and his family wants to unload the house you pretty much just the as is with even the furniture still in it for twenty six thousand dollars a house for twenty six K beautiful Upper Peninsula of Michigan you know wilderness all the, you know hey so he does he drives out there by first he bought a Honda element got rid of his RV bought a Honda element maybe had a little extra cash put it down on the house I don't know if he paid off the house or whatever but he got the house the house is his now it seems like he's having second thoughts about living there it just seems like you know now he's doing painting videos every night and uh, I don't know it just seems like he's you know the house has a lot of needs a lot of work you know he said it it's got you know rat poop in the walls and uh, you know it's it's kind of a mess you know and honestly when you buy a fixer-upper like that you're probably gonna have to spend at least twenty six thousand dollars to fix it up all right twenty six plus twenty six is fifty two that's still a pretty cheap house these days but it's still not the deal that Dave thought. And the other problem that Dave has, I think, is the fact that he's locked himself into this. If he paid cash for it, which he may have from the sale of his RV, um, <clears throat> what's he gonna do? He's now got the house. He doesn't have the $26,000. You know, and he's got a Honda Element, which is an older vehicle. It's now they're not, what did they stop making them in 2011 or 12? So they're not new vehicles. So he's got an older vehicle and a house, and he's, you know, whatever. So now what does he do? What does he do if he changes his mind? What if he says, hey, it's lonely here in Upper Michigan. I don't want to live there. Uh, you know, I'd rather be somewhere else. You know, I'd rather do, I'd rather get back on the road and put that $26,000 back into a vehicle and do that. Get back to California or someplace where it's warmer for the winter. Okay, at least Arizona or something. But he's kind of stuck. He's kind of stuck there. Well, I, how does he, he, he can leave the house and just abandon it, but then he loses his 26 k and whatever else money he's put into the house. I don't know. It's kind of a very interesting quandary to see Dave 2D in. And I feel for the guy. I really like the guy. I think he's a nice guy. He's very talented. He can paint. He's, you know, you know, he's a very funny guy. He's kind of got a comedic sense about him. I always liked Dave. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, I hope he gets... I hope everything works out for him, but I would not want to be in stuck in that situation that he's in with this house that, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a, you know, a ball and chain around his neck, I think, you know, and now if he was really into fixing it up and, and he had some money to invest in it, maybe he could do that project for the, uh, for the winter time. But also you got to look at the loneliness factor being up there in the upper peninsula, of Michigan, all by himself. I mean, he does have RV Joey somewhere else in Upper Peninsula, Michigan. Maybe he could kind of, you know, do some potluck dinners with her or something. I don't know. But it just seems like, thank you, little Adam. Thank you. It does seem like, I don't know. I just feel like he's probably having serious second thoughts about buying that house and all, you know, all the work that it's going to be to fix it up and get it doing. And plus, you know, I don't see Dave 2D as being an Upper Peninsula of Michigan guy. I want to go out fishing and canoeing and stuff like that. He likes to travel, but he kind of likes the comfort of a, of a vehicle. And I don't see Dave as being like Mr. Hike. You know, Mr. Mountain Climbing, Mr. Go Out and Forage in the Woods, like some of the nomads. So I just wonder if Dave 2D is okay. I just don't know. I don't, I sense, uh, you know, then you got the election stuff and his candidate, obviously that he was talking about didn't win. So, you know, I just feel like Dave's in kind of a quandary right now. What is, what do I do? He's kind of looks as he's painting, thinking, what the heck have I gotten myself into? You know? 
And then another nomad that bought the, bought a house in this past year is Derek. Derek Derek bought a house in Indiana. And he's been on the road for many, many years. It's a class A that he has. That was current class A is kind of falling apart. Uh, it's got a lot of problems. He, you know, he bought it at some discount place down in Louisiana. And, uh, <clears throat> and they have a tracker thing in it so that if he doesn't make the payments on it, uh, they can just find where it is, swoop down with a big helicopter, put a big net around it and take it away. I don't know. So anyway, he's currently tearing it apart. I don't know. He's He put up the Christmas decorations and now he's uh, in his new house, which he's had a lot of issues with too. I mean, you know, he's had difficulty getting the internet and it's, it's, just, it's just, there's just a lot of, you know, housey issues, which you have. Okay. And he did, he did pay some coin to fix the place up and put some, put some furniture in it and stuff like that. But now he's got to deal with this RV. You know, the RV's kind of falling apart. Uh, it's a, it's a fancy big class A that he still owes some money on. And now he's, now for some reason he's decided to remodel the whole thing, take everything out. I don't know. I have a feeling there's more to the story, Morning Glory, but uh, I don't know. So anyway, the guy, while he does put on the smiley face and ha, 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 I love my house, oh, it's Christmas coming. I, I get this distinct impression that, you know, you, you can see through the, you know, through it that, you know, I don't know. I think I seriously think he's probably having second thoughts about buying the house. You know, if he was going to buy a house and it was, you know, whatever the price was, we don't know the price. He should have maybe picked someplace a little warmer, like, you know, maybe uh, Mississippi, maybe. You could probably find a pretty good deal down there in Mississippi and the climate would be a little better. Or maybe Panhandle of Florida or Georgia somewhere, you know, which is a pretty state. And there's some parks in Georgia that he's always liked. I don't know. Uh, Illinois, Indiana, excuse me. Indiana, Indiana for Derek. I don't know. So anyway, you know, as I say, Dragnet. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. Uh, anyway, so I don't know. then we got Camper Van Kenny. Kenny bought the Prepper Shack. Again, it's not really a house house, but he did spend an awful lot of time over the summer fixing up the Prepper Shack, and uh, it's nice. I mean, it you know, other than that, I don't think it has insulation, does it? But, uh, you know, it's got everything else. But it is up in the mountains of New Mexico, and it's got, uh, you know, it's cold up there, and they get snow up there. And so Kenny said, after he took his little trip to Colorado, that he would come back and stay in the Prepper Shack through the election and, you know, whatever, and just hunker down. Well, he didn't. He decided instead of going back, he did. I don't know if he actually went back to the Prepper Shack and got a few things. But anyway, he's headed west, and he's out in Quartzsite with all the gang there. So I don't know. I don't know. So he, you know, I, you know, again, I get the impression when I watch Kenny that it's, he's putting on a nice face for the camera, but I think that he's probably having some second thoughts about that prepper shack. And is that really going to be a thing, you know, and it's on rented land. I mean, if you're going to do a prepper shack and you really want to have solid foundation, do you want it to be on rented land? I don't know. So I don't know. I, I see Dave, I see Derek, I see Kenny. And I'm just wondering, I think they're having second thoughts about buying those, at least dwellings, houses, prepper shacks, whatever you want to call them. These guys are rooted in traveling and being nomadic. And now that they're not being that way, they're kind of a little bit freaking out. What do you think? And then, of course, there's always Mike. Mike never bought a house. Living Free Mike never bought a house. You know, he spent the summer in Paul's backyard. He still lives in his RV, which just needs some work. But uh, he's the only one right now that I look at and go, you know what? He seems to be the happiest of them all. He doesn't have the encumbrance of a house with mortgages or, you know, the bill wheel or whatever. And he still lives in his RV and he's using his RV as a house in many respects because he doesn't move it very much. He'll move it to one place and stay there for three or four months and then move it somewhere else. So, you know, he's kind of using the RV as his house, but he doesn't have that physical property, you know, that the other guys do. And I kind of jet and, and he's out there with his friends. He's got Butterfly Gypsy and Southern Goodness and and some other folks there. And at least it's warm where he is. You know, it's not it's not going to get be a snowy, cold, lonely winter like uh, for Dave to V to Dave, Dave TV, Dave 2D. And, you know, I, you know, central Indiana gets a, quite a bit of snow, too. They can get a couple feet. 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know. So I think Mike's the happiest of them all. So I do think, I do think that these, uh, it's interesting to look at these four guys and, uh, you know, I bet you there are at least three of them are having second thoughts about buying the, you know, the, the you know, hunker down structure of some sort. You know, I, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if uh, sometime a year from now, we find them all back on the road without those uh, encumbrances. I don't know. I don't know. They're all getting older, as we all are. And I think people want to get more into that settle down mode as they get older. But uh, I think if you're going to do it, think warmer climates, okay? I really think Dave 2D and I really think uh, Derek made some mistakes in terms of too far north, too cold. You got full blown winter, especially Dave 2D. Uh, you know, go south. Go south, young man. <clears throat> Texas, Louisiana. I, I know you got, you know, I don't know, some place in the southwest or the south or even Florida, you know, where at least it's more expensive, obviously, but not parts of Florida aren't. Uh, Georgia's a good state. You know, even North Carolina, you know, at least you don't have the full-blown cold, you know, North American Canadian type winters to deal with, you know. Anyway, so anyway, going to keep an eye on all these guys and see how they go. But it is interesting and very oddly compelling to watch them. And so that's that. So there. Okay. That's it. That's it. It's Sunday, the 22nd of November, 2020. Rant over, baby. <laughs>